status. It's February the 5th, day five. Last night was rough. Um, yeah, so I either have a giant, giant muscle knot in my right buttocks, but I've also had a bulging disc before that started pressing on those nerve bundles, and uh, I think that's what it is. So sleep didn't come at all last night. No matter what position I went in, it just wasn't comfortable. Uh, started raining too, um, which ain't that big of a deal, uh, except for I'm laying in a puddle as well. <laughs> Universe plays it well. Uh, he got me. Uh, no, nah, but all is good, man. <sighs> going into um, Heflin today, get everything sorted out. I'm going to stay at the hotel there for two nights to wait out the storm. And uh, we'll start working and resting and getting my back right. Um, you're not getting me. Uh, Finn Hody, you're not. I'm going to do this. All right, y'all. It hurts to sit up in certain positions, but oh well. I've been working it out, and uh, we'll get it taken care of. Um, that's about it for now. I'm packing up a wet tent and going to walk the 11 or 15 or so miles into town, into the hotel, and checking in. All right. All right, it's 4.54. I've been up since 2. Really never went to sleep, but laid there. It's all good. I changed batteries in my headlamp. <laughs> it's a lot better. I put three batteries, new batteries in it, but sometimes the batteries that we have are, they've been in there so long they get bad. So I think that might've been the culprit. So not bad. This is acceptable for sure. So I'll keep it. All right. Back, I'm not giving it my back pain. I'm not giving it a voice. It wants a voice. But putting on the backpack, it honestly, doesn't feel any worse. Or, hell, it might feel a little bit better. So, we'll see. We can get in there and take care of it. All right. We got 11 and a half, I think, to the cutoff and three more into town. Let's go see what this is about. I was just thinking of last night and how I'm thankful I wasn't camped somewhere around a bunch of hikers because my back was getting bad when I was trying to eat. I couldn't really sit in any comfortable position instead of, except for laying down on my right side, which seemed to relieve it, which tells me that it is a bulging disc. Um... I went to sleep, I woke up at like 10.30 or I tried to go to sleep. I think I might have slept in a little while. Got up at 10.30, had to go to the bathroom. It sounded like I was getting murdered. That, everything, every way I moved was killing me. I was like, just as loud. Because sometimes I feel like if you grunt through things, it'll ease the pain a little bit. That's a use it or lose it tip right there. I don't know if that's true, but anyway funny i tell you as i start hiking though i feel pretty good i mean it's still there but it was there all day yesterday tolerable so maybe the trick is i just gotta hike and when it's time to sleep i just lay down and cover myself up with something and when it starts hurting just get up and hike that would be a new way to do it all right the last time i'm gonna turn this on while it's dark I'm not trying to steal Nightcrawler's thunder here. Okay, so I climbed up out of that hole after I got water last night. I was right on a little ridge line. Not on the very top ridge line, but like a little finger down below it on a roadbed. And though I got water in my tent, I think mostly due to my stupid error, error, uh, the inside, the walls and everything, bone dry good breeze blowing up there so keep it in mind if you're camped out by a creek and you're complaining that your single wall tent is all wet you have been warned <laughs> scuba doc that's some trail magic man you're the heat scuba i'm not going to share what's in the contents um scuba just gives me some really bad news about him personally but uh, man i'm wishing the best for you dude um, you've been following a long time. I've always enjoyed, uh, conversing with you. All right, man, I sure do appreciate this.
Scuba Doc knows me well. I'm going to start chowing on all this on the way in. Thanks, buddy. Nothing better than that right there after the night I had. Appreciate it, Scuba Doc. All right, a couple of thoughts. First off, if you've never tried meditating while you walk, it's really tough. It's not tough. I guess I read somewhere at one point that you got to keep your heart rate below a certain beat and your step count, you know, at a little bit of a slower pace. Because anything over that, that prefrontal cortex, that executive brain, has to take over and start doing calculations. So interesting. So as I try to do it this morning, every time I hit a hill, it goes out the window and then I find myself just thinking about other crap. But also, if you never watched that video I put out a month or two ago, me being a morning person, my morning hike, and usually that's why I'm talking more on here, uh, my critical brain's hyperactive. Like that's its time of day. And that's when it wants to be analytical. That's when all my energy is going towards that. Then later in the day, towards late afternoon, I'm more creative. And I'm more tired, so I usually don't vlog a lot then. I don't even know why I started saying that. But hey, it's interesting. It's good info. <clears throat> but as I start thinking about what I'm dealing with with my back... People are probably like, well, what are you doing, man? Like, why are you hurting? Why are you trying to hurt yourself or whatever? Hopefully not thinking that. Because I'm not. What I'm trying to do out here on this trail is just push my body at almost 49 years old and see what it does. Like right now, it's giving me intel. The intel is probably pushed it a little bit too hard in the beginning. Everybody's like, oh, no doubt. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, as an experiment, <clears throat> I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going until it corrects itself, because the body's amazing, and I guarantee my body's trying to correct it right now. Or, it just becomes intolerable and the quality of life is just too bad to continue. Either way, it's going to be good info. All right, my critical mind's going crazy this morning. It's hard to quieten it down, but uh, I was just thinking. Um, you know, what if town wasn't here? Inside of my tent got wet last night. My sleeping pad is soaked because you got to roll it up and the underneath is wet. So if you roll it up, the whole thing gets wet. I mean, it's soaking. So with the forecast today, it's not like that thing's going to dry. So what are your options? I think what I would do if I had to do it again tonight, you know, camp, stealth camp somewhere, I would get my piece of Tyvek dry because that's probably the one thing that I can get dry. I would uh, not put it underneath my tent, which was part of the problem last night, by the way. Rookie mistake. Day one SHIT right there. But I would lay the Tyvek dry inside my tent. And it's about the same size as the footprint of the tent inside. I would blow up the air pad, lay it on top of the Tyvek, and then fold the Tyvek over the top of that. Because no water is going to get through that Tyvek. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's how I would solve that. So anyway, always good. To, uh, some of you folks, y'all are going to be out <clears throat> in the middle of nowhere. Your tent's going to flood. Something's going to happen. Good to think through those contingencies before they happen. Use that creative mind. I don't know why this just crossed my mind. Because I was thinking through tonight instead of being here on the trail for some reason. <clears throat> for those going on a long distance hike, carry about five or six one dollar bills. Don't go out there with a bunch of 20s because you're going to get to a Coke machine or something like that at the most opportune time some of them take credit cards now so that's good but i encountered a bunch on the trail that didn't and i'm not saying there's coke machines all the way up the trail i'm saying the one time you don't have a dollar bill or two dollar two or three dollars in ones it's gonna be the time you're staring at that coca-cola sign thinking about breaking into that machine going over highway 20 got about five miles to the 
turn off and then three more miles into town and then two more miles to the hotel. All right, first impressions. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Uh, basic, it's got everything. It's got a new fridge, a new microwave. I've stayed in worse on the trail for sure. I'm always scared to go in the bathroom. Oh, they even got coffee. That surprises me. Uh, $50. 50 bucks. Not bad. All right, not bad. All right, let's wrap up day number five. Um, if my eyes look like they're sleepy a little bit, that's because I've just woke up. So it is the morning of day six, but we're gonna wrap up day five. Let me just tell you some things that happened after I got here. Um, I got into the hotel. I decided, man, the rain's coming in. There's a Mexican restaurant just right up the hill. So I ran up there and got two fajita quesadillas. I ate one of them for dinner. I'm gonna have one for breakfast right now, which usually I don't do weird food like that for breakfast, but that thing's delicious, so I'm gonna go kill it. Um, it is, I got up at 2.30. It's 4.27 right now. It's just thundering and pouring outside, so so nice to be in this hotel room. Um, bed's very comfortable. Uh, if you're a hiker ever coming through here, get the single bed, it's cheaper. They charge you 60 for two beds, I think, and there's plenty of room to dry your tent out and everything else. Um, Adam came. If you anybody's on the Penhody Facebook pages, uh, you'll know who Adam is. Uh, he came by, knocked on the door, and uh, just welcomed me and, and trying to set up a time today for me to go up to Town Hall and uh, get the ubiquitous picture taken by the Penhody um, sign that they have there. Uh, if you've ever seen that on Facebook, you'll know what I'm talking about. So they're going to send somebody down and grab me at you know, 10, 10.30 tomorrow morning or today. I uh, go up there and then they said they would take me to lunch or at least we'll go to lunch at the Flora's table I think so really popular place here um, And then hopefully drop me off by a grocery store or something. Let me grab some resupply and then back to the hotel um, So I said all that to say this Heflin just rolls out the red carpet for hikers Had I turned left yesterday instead of right when I got up to town I went to the town hall. I probably could have had somebody um drive me down to the hotel instead of me walking another two miles myself. Um, but man, it wasn't a big deal. But just do that. If you're coming into Heflin, take the trail into Heflin. Take a left when you get to the main street there and you'll see the big town hall or the courthouse or whatever it is just right there. It's beautiful. And go in there and just tell them you're, you're hiking the trail and they will take care of you. What an amazing place this is. And spend the rest of the evening uh, just chilling out. And um. Yeah, that's about it. All my gear's dry. I got to get my resupply today. And uh, we're going to be set to go back out. I'm hearing really good things from all the comments about the next section of trail. I'm excited. It sounds like my gig. Deep woods. Um, man, that's what I love. I can't wait. All right. I will get back with y'all with some more day six shenanigans in the next video. All right. Appreciate all the comments. Y'all keep it up, man. It's motivating me. And... Um, Keep asking questions because I'll answer what I can. 
All right, y'all. Hope y'all have a good day. Deuces.